Do you have blinds that are too long for your windows? If so, you may be wondering how to shorten them. Shortening blinds is actually a pretty easy process, and it can be done in just a few simple steps. 10 Steps for Shortening Window Blinds Blinds are a great way to control the amount of light and privacy in a room. But sometimes, blinds can be too long for your windows. If this is the case, you may be wondering how to shorten blinds without damaging them. There are a few different ways you can shorten blinds, depending on the type of blinds you have. If you have fabric blinds, you can simply cut them to the desired length. If you have wooden or plastic blinds, you can remove the bottom slats and trim them to size. You can also remove the entire blind and refit it to the window, or take it to a professional to have it shortened. Shortening blinds is a relatively easy task that can be done in a few minutes. Step 1. Extend blinds completely. Your blinds should be fully extended so that the excess drapes below the ledge. Whether the slats are open or closed, it doesn't matter. Step 2. Mark new bottom slat. Mark the blind slat with tape that is parallel to or just below the windowsill. You will now use this as your bottom slat. This is distinct from the bottom rail. Step 3. Take out the rail plugs. On the underside of the bottom rail, take out any plastic buttons or plugs. By removing the plugs, you may access the lift cord and string ladders that climb the blinds. The plugs seal off holes in the bottom rail as well as a recess where the ladder strings and pull cord are knotted or fastened with an eyelet or other fastening. Step 4. Remove the bottom rail. Pull the lift cords up through the holes by untying or cutting the knots at the bottom. Your bottom rail is now free to be taken off. Step 5. Remove the extra slats. Pull up on each lift cord under the slat you have marked so that it is no longer threaded through the slats. Take away the superfluous slats. Your marked slat will now be surrounded by extra vertical and horizontal cables, ladder cords. Step 6. Insert bottom rail. Underneath the final slat, pass your bottom rail through the ladder strings. Reverse the lift cord through the bottom rail's holes. Open the blinds so the slats lie flat, then place the bottom rail on the windowsill. Step 7. Trim extra cords. Leave 2-4 to four inches of string hanging below your bottom rail after cutting off the additional strings. You will require enough ladder rope to secure the bottom rail. Next, remove any horizontal ladder strings that extend below the bottom rail, leaving only the vertical cables. Step 8. Tie the knots. To hold the plugs in place, tie knots at the ends of the lift cords, or if the plugs were already fastened with knots, slip them back onto the cables first. Don't worry about the extra lift cables. To reduce the additional slack, raise your blinds partially. Step 9. Insert rail plugs. Under the bottom rail, tie the additional ladder ropes together. Place more cables inside the rail holes. Under the bottom rail, tying the cables together in knots could be helpful. Replace the rail plugs after that. Trim the strings as necessary if the plugs don't fit. Step 10. Test. To make sure all cables are fastened and the blinds are operating properly, test the blinds by raising and lowering them as well as opening and shutting them a few times. If you have blinds that are too long, you can shorten them with a few simple steps. First, you will need to remove the blinds from the window. Next, cut the blinds to the desired length. Finally, reinstall the blinds and adjust them to the new size. Shorter blinds can give a room a neater appearance and can also make it easier to clean the windows. If you have children or pets, shortened blinds can also help to prevent accidents.